What up, YouTubers? This is Hunch Network, all things technology, and today we're gonna learn how to hide anything you want anywhere on your computer. We're talking about videos, PDF files, Word documents, PowerPoint documents, applications like Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, um, basically anything you don't want people to see or use. This is the video you guys want to watch. It's pretty simple, it's very basic trick. Alright, what you gonna want to do is right click, go to new, hit folder, and name this folder whatever you want. I'll name it everything. Now, whatever you're gonna want to hide, go ahead and put in here. I want to hide my video. That's pretty much it. And that's it. Now you're gonna want to go to notepad. And in this notepad, we're gonna create a program that's gonna let us hide that file that we just made. So you're gonna want to type in add echo off enter then a trib a t t r i b space plus h plus s and then the file that you just made word for word the way you spelt it for me it's everything then it that's pretty much it that's how you're gonna hide the file that's just the code and you're gonna hit file save as file name name it whatever you want I'll just name it one dot back and then text documents, you're going to change that to all files and you're going to hit save. And for me, it's going to be right here. Go ahead and minimize this. And once I click on this, this file will disappear. Now we'll go ahead and refresh and it's gone. You can't highlight it, it's completely gone. Now you're probably wondering what if I want to access that file. Well, it's pretty simple. Go back to Notepad again, and we're gonna create another program that's gonna let us um, that's gonna let us access that file, but it's to be password locked. So what you're gonna want to type in is at echo off, hit enter, then type in color zero eight. Now color zero eight is just green. You can do any color you want. I just personally like green. Then hit enter, then set password equal to. So basically, right here is you're gonna set your password. Now you can set your password wherever you want. I'm just gonna name mine my folder name, which is everything. And then enter, echo, enter, password. Now, right here, and when I open the command prompt, the first thing that's gonna pop up is it's gonna say enter password. So hit enter and set p or slash p e u equal to enter if user interface is equal to password go to a. So basically what I just said is if what I type in is equal to the password that I made, it's gonna go to A. And A is the program that's gonna let us access that hidden file. Now hit enter, and if it's the wrong password, it's just gonna say wrong password. That's pretty much it. And then if it is wrong password, it's gonna pause and exit the program. Now we're gonna create the A part. So you're gonna wanna do the two little dot thingies, wherever they're called, don't really care. And then hit A. Enter, start everything. Now make sure this is this is your file name and make sure it's word for word as well. And that's pretty much it. Now you're gonna go to file, save as, name your file whatever you want. Once again, I'll name mine two, and then text documents to all files and hit save. And mine is right here. Now once I click on it it will open a command prompt bam this is a command prompt it opened it up see it's gonna say enter password i'll enter my password which is everything and bam it opens my file that i just hit everything it has my video in here and now i can drag in and drag out whatever i want pretty simple pretty neat now you're probably wondering what happens if i don't want to hide the file anymore or what happens if I just want people to use my file? It's pretty simple. Go back to the batch file that you used for hiding that file. Right click, go to edit, 
and you hit minus H minus S file save exit hit it and bam it appears right here pretty simple trick now there's one tiny little flaw to this for your password for your hidden file password that you created someone can easily edit and change the password for me personally no one in my family is smart enough to do that so I'm good to go I don't really have to do anything it's not a flaw for me but for some people people in their family know technology really well so what I would do is go on the internet and try and find a converter that converts batch files into exe files which I've done before there are free ones on Google you can just search them up and that's pretty much it so rate comment subscribe making YouTube videos every other day um, I'm going to be teaching you guys simple stuff like this all the way to the difficult stuff on learning how to use new programs, use um, Adobe Photo Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, um, learning hacks like how to turn anything battery powered into USB powered. Pretty cool. Um, leave comments for stuff you guys want to learn and I'll try to show them on YouTube. So thanks. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe.